you okay? Okay, okay. You can, you can clap, clap uh, with me in the classroom, okay? learners how are you today i am your teacher len your science teacher every day we're using different substances without even noticing them some of these substances can be solid liquid or in gaseous form listen carefully because after this lesson you will describe the appearance of homogeneous mixtures now tell me what you eat for breakfast do you eat rice and egg how about hot dog or corned beef do you drink coffee milk or tea these are some of the examples of homogeneous mixtures what are mixtures a mixture is a substance in which two or more substances are mixed but not chemically joined together meaning that a chemical reaction has not taken place mixtures can be easily separated and the substances in the mixture keep the original properties. There are two types of mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixtures. We have learned that a homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture while a heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. Now, let's identify whether the following mixtures are homogeneous or heterogeneous. Milk, salad, rice, coffee, corned beef, milk, homogeneous mixture, correct, salad, yes, that is correct, it is a heterogeneous mixture. Coffee. That's homogeneous mixture. Correct. Rice. Very good. It is a homogeneous mixture. Corn beef. Homogeneous mixture. That's great. Wow, that's great! This time, let's learn how to describe the appearance of homogeneous mixtures. For example, the mixture of powdered milk and hot water. 
If you mix it thoroughly, what have you noticed? Can you still see the particles of milk powder using your naked eye? Correct! The milk powder has combined evenly with water. It has a consistent characteristic because the milk powder is dissolved in water. As we can see, it is a uniform mixture because it has one property. Therefore, it is a homogeneous mixture. Remember children that milk is one of the most important dairy products for children and adults. It contains calcium, which is essential nutrient for strong bones and teeth, muscle movement, and nerve signals. This biscuit. Can you identify the ingredients? Is it a uniform mixture? Does it have one property? Excellent! The ingredients of this biscuit are evenly distributed. It has one property. It is a uniform mixture. Thus, this is a homogeneous mixture. Biscuits are commonly eaten as snack food for children and adults. Another example, the air liquid breath is an example of a homogeneous mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and carbon dioxide with a smaller amount of other elements. It cannot be seen by our naked eye but feel in our skin. It is an important element of living things on earth in order to live. Children, before we will continue, let's first sing an action song. Are you ready? Come on, let's set up. so good now it's time for you to describe the appearance of homogeneous mixture describe the appearance of soy sauce fill in the table below for your corresponding answer write it in your science notebook can you see the substances mixed to make a soy sauce yes or no How many properties can you see? 
Is it a uniform or non-uniform mixture? Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Very good! Soy sauce is a mixture of different substances, but you cannot see it with your naked eye. It has one property. It is a uniform mixture. So therefore, it is a homogeneous mixture. Congratulations! Next, describe the appearance of spoon. Can you see the substances to make a spoon? Yes or no? How many properties can you see? Is it a uniform or non-uniform mixture? Homogeneous or heterogeneous? That's right! You cannot see the substances of the spoon. It has one property. It is a uniform mixture. So therefore, it is a homogeneous mixture. Next. Describe the appearance of powdered lemon juice. Can you see the particles of the powdered lemon juice? Yes or no? How many properties can you see? Is it a uniform or non-uniform mixture? Homogeneous or heterogeneous? That's awesome! You can see the particles of the powdered lemon juice since it is evenly distributed. It has one property. It has a uniform mixture. So therefore, it is a homogeneous mixture. Remember that homogeneous mixtures are uniform mixtures. It has one property because the substances are evenly distributed. All these mixtures are very important in our lives. We always use them every day for us to survive. Now it's time for you to fill in the blank to complete the sentences in describing the homogeneous mixtures. Choose the correct answer inside the box. Number one, plastics are mixtures since it has a appearance. It has only property. They are used as Number two, water is a mixture. It has a appearance. It has property. It can only be formed using a container. Water is used for number three. Oxygen is mixture. It cannot be seen by our naked eye, but filled with our skin. It has property. It is an essential element of living things on earth in order to... And here are the correct answers. Number one. Plastics are homogeneous mixtures since it has a uniform appearance. It has only one property. They are used as containers. Number two. Water is a homogeneous mixture. It has a uniform appearance. It has one property. It can only be formed using a container. Water is used for drinking. Number three. Oxygen is a homogeneous mixture. It cannot be seen by our naked eye but filled with our skin. It has one property. 
It is an essential element of living things on earth in order to live. All of your answers are correct! Very good! Congratulations, everyone! I hope you won't forget that homogeneous mixtures are uniform mixtures. It has only one property as seen by our naked eyes because the substances are evenly distributed. All these mixtures are essential parts of our lives. We will always use them every day in order to survive. Thank you, dear learners. This is Teacher Len. See you next time. Bye!